This month's lesson goes out to the Desert Ridge Math Counts team. I'm a big fan of the Desert Ridge team because they lead the league in sending me t-shirts. I have seven or eight of these. They're all different colors. I get a new one every single year. And that's awesome because then I don't have to do laundry for another day. So Desert Ridge, looking forward to seeing you at Nationals again this year. Wonder what color I'll get. Now let's get to work here. We have a geometry problem, so you know I got my man Harvey here. How's it going, Harvey? Yeah, good to see you. Now my man Harvey, he helps with geometry problems because he can see things that aren't there. So Harvey, what extra stuff do you see in this problem? What's that? You don't need to see any extra stuff to solve this problem. There's enough already there. All right. What do we need you for then? You just stand there and look pretty. What's that? Oh yeah, you're really good at looking pretty. He's really funny. Let's get to work. All right, in this problem, we have a big square right here, A, B, C, D. Now this big square is divided up into eight congruent right triangles, these little triangles right here, and one little square in the middle, E, F, G, H. Now the area of the big square is 1156 square centimeters. And then this crooked square in here, P, Q, R, S, its area is 676 square centimeters. We have to find the area of the little square in the middle. Well, we have these two areas here. I think we can use these areas to find some side lengths. I'll start with this one, that's 676. That's the area of the crooked square right there. And 676, well, that's a little bit more than 625. And I know 625, that's 25 squared. So I think this is 26 squared. Now I'm gonna check that real quick because I know how to get from 25 squared up to 26 squared. I start from 25 squared and then I just add 25 and then I add 26 and that gets me up to 26 squared. Let's check and see if this equals 676. 25 squared, that's 625 and 25 and 26 add up to 51. 625 plus 51, is 676. Indeed, 676 is 26 squared. So, the side length of the crooked square here is 26. We'll put a 26 right there. What's that? Oh, you don't, you don't buy that this actually is 26 squared. Very cool. Watch this, I'll show you. We start from the 25 squared. Now I'm gonna think of this 26 out there as 25 plus one, because then we'll have two 25s out there. So now we're adding two 25s. And then we have an extra one right there. And this expression is the square of the binomial 25 plus one. And 25 plus one, that's 26. So this whole thing is 26 squared. What? Oh, you would have drawn a picture? To explain this, I don't know what he's talking about, but let's get back to the problem. We also have this big square out here. We're told that its area is 1156. So the side length of the big square is the square root of that 1156. Now what number do we square to get 1156? Uh, well, 1156 is a little bit bigger than 900. And 900, well, that's 30 squared. So the number I square to get 1156, it's gonna be bigger than 30. Oh, and it's gotta end in four or six. Because if I square a number that ends in four, well, that square will end in six. If I square a number that ends in six, that square will also end in six. So I think the side length of this square is either 34 or 36. Which one is it? Oh, 36. 36 is a multiple of nine. So if I square that, I'll get another multiple of nine. And 1156, we add those digits, 1 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6, we get 13. 13 is not a multiple of 9. So 1156, not a multiple of 9. This can't be 36 squared. Must be 34 squared, but I want to check it. I'm going to check it by kind of running what we did right up here in reverse. I'm going to start with the binomial. I'm going to square that out. 30 plus 4, we're going to square this binomial. We'll get 30 squared, and then we'll get double 30 times 4, 
And then we'll also have to add on 4 squared at the end. 30 squared, that's 900. 2 times 30 times 4, that's another 240. Then that 4 squared is 16. 900 plus 240, that gets us to 1140. Add on that 16, we're at 1156. 34 squared is 1156. What? Oh, you would have drawn, drawn a diagram for that one, too. Well, forget it, man. I, I, I did just fine with my algebra. After all, they come here, they come here for the geometry, but they stay for the algebra. What? Oh, no, you want to see the geometry for this. No, no, no. No, no, we, I have work to do here, all right? You figure out the geometry. You figure out the geometry that Harvey's thinking about. And when you do, send it my way so uh, I can see it too. But back to the problem. The side length of the whole square is 34. So this length right there is 34. Huh. Now what? We need the side length of this little square. We haven't used the right triangles yet. We have a little right triangle right in here. I can break out some more algebra. Because this whole side right here is 34. I know that this piece right there, its length is the same as this little piece right here. So this whole thing is 34. That means this plus this is also 34. So I can assign a variable to that. And then this is 34 minus that variable. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. The long way. Oh, you're right, Harv. He's right. We should use Pythagorean triples. That'll be way easier than breaking out the algebra. Now, if you want to try the algebra, go right ahead. Call this x, call this 34 minus x, and have fun. I'm going to use Pythagorean triples because, you know, Harvey's right. I hate to admit it, but Harvey's right. This is going to be way easier. Because you see this 26? That's 2 times 13. So the hypotenuse there is 2 times 13, and that gets me thinking. Gets me thinking of that Pythagorean triple, that 5, 12, 13 Pythagorean triple. A right triangle with legs 5 and 12 has hypotenuse 13. We're going to double that up. A right triangle with legs 10 and 24 has hypotenuse 26. And watch what happens when I put that 10 and 24 in here. This length is the same as this one over here, so this over here is 10. And sure enough, it all checks out 10. Plus 24 is 34. Yeah, Harvey, I admit it. That was a little bit faster. Yeah, smart and pretty. You got it all, Harvey, but back to work. Here we go. Still have to find the side length of the little square in the middle. Well, I know that this little side length is 10, so this is 10, and this is 10. Now, if we go all the way across the square, that's 34. To get this length right here, we take away these two tens. We take away two tens, that's taking away 20 from this 34 up here. 34 minus 20, FG is 14. And now I can see the area of the little square is just 14 squared. And I don't need algebra, and I don't need Harvey's diagrams to tell me that 14 squared gives us an area of 196 square centimeters. After we finish that last video where we solved this problem, Harvey here asked if we could shoot the video again because we didn't find the cool solution. Harv, why didn't you show us the cool solution during the video? Oh, because I was on a roll and you didn't want to interrupt me? That has never stopped you before. All right, let's find the cool solution. Help us out, Harvey. You want us to find the cool solution by ourselves? All right, we'll try. You got anything yet? I don't see it. Come on, Harv, just, just a little hint. Just give us a little hint. Difference between the squares? That is a really little hint, Harv. Oh, you see it yet? I still don't see it, Harv. Why don't you step in here and give us some help? Actually, no, wait, 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 wait a second. Stay, stay over there. Don't help us just yet because I want them to try a little bit more. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit the pause button. Hit the pause button, try to find the cool solution here. And I promise while, while you're doing that, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to try to find it too. 
so that Harvey won't have to tell us. Now here we go, all right? You're gonna hit the pause button. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to figure this out. You hit the pause button, right? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still stuck. What's that? You're back. And you figured it out. Hmm. I didn't. Why don't you help me out? You're not gonna help. That means I'm gonna have to ask him. Don't like asking him. But, uh, you need help. You ask somebody, so Harb, help us out. Yeah, you said difference of squares already. All right, I'll find the difference between the squares. Difference between the squares, you got 1156 and 676. So the difference between those two is 480. That's the difference in the areas? Yeah, it's a difference in the areas. The difference between the area of the big square and the crooked square is 480 square centimeters. So, yeah, the difference of the areas. Not the difference of the squares. I just told you. Four triangles? What is he? Do you know what he's talking about? I still don't. All right, Harvey, step in here. Step in here. Show us these four triangles. Show us. Go ahead. Just, 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 Harvey, just tap the board. And there's a triangle. There's another triangle. That's two. Oh, that's three triangles. I see it now, Harv. Oh, Harvey. Harvey, that is beautiful. No, not as pretty as you are, but still, this is a beautiful solution. This is really pretty, Harvey. Thank you very much. I can take it from here. You can stand back off there. I think we got it from here. The difference between the big square there and the crooked square right there, these four triangles. And we know the difference between the areas of the big square and the crooked square is 480 square centimeters. So the total area of these four triangles is 480 square centimeters. And then we take a look at the difference between the crooked square and the little square whose area we have to find. The difference between those two squares, this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. Once again, four of these right triangles. And all of these right triangles are congruent. So these four right triangles, their area adds up to 480 square centimeters, just like these four do out here. So the difference between the crooked square and the little square is these four triangles whose areas add up to 480 square centimeters. So to get the area of that little square, we just take those 480 square centimeters away from the area of the crooked square. Subtract 480 from 676, and once again, the area of the little square, 196 square centimeters. Very pretty, Harv. Thanks.